Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I have gotten so many requests to do a tour of my studio, my makeup studio, as well as show how I organize my makeup. So that's what we're doing today. The first thing you need to know about me is I love pink. I'm not ashamed of it. I just am somebody who loves pink. So having my own makeup studio, I felt it was the perfect opportunity to just go overboard. I love these giant flowers. They're from Hobby Lobby and I saw them a long time ago there and I was like, I need a reason to buy these someday. And this was the perfect reason. I believe this pink shelf thing was originally from Ikea. However, I bought it secondhand from a friend. I just have some various decor and whatnot on it. Most of it is from Home Goods. Down here, I have these bins where I have organized most of my makeup. This first bin is just entirely full of lashes, which makes me so happy. When I first started doing makeup, I literally would go to the store and buy like three or four pairs of lashes at a time. And if I would have known that I just had a whole bin full of lashes ahead of me in my future, then it would have made me very happy. Here's what I have in this second bin. This plastic container has about half of my foundations and concealers and the other half is in my travel kit. These plastic containers I got from Dollar Tree and I love shopping at Dollar Tree when it comes to organizational items because otherwise you're spending tons of money at Walmart or Target if you want to organize something. So anytime you have an organization project in your house, I recommend going to Dollar Tree. They have tons of good stuff. This is my lip products mascara wands. This is kind of random. It's different primers and individual eyeshadows and kind of odds and ends. This third bin has all of my palettes. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> then there's this bin. These plastic organizers are also from Dollar Tree. They're fantastic for utilizing the space in the bin both horizontally and vertically. This container has powders. And here I have extra brushes and sponges that have not been opened or used yet. This has all of my compacts, so a lot of highlighters, blushes, individual bronzers, things like that. You know I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, so I've got a bunch of backups here. I actually buy my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist once a year on Black Friday because that's the biggest sale that Morphe does. I believe that it's 25% off and I just buy a bunch every year and then use them throughout the year basically. And then this bin has just different backups, things that are unopened yet. I've got some primers, lash glue, um, bronzer, different favorite lips, some waterproof mascaras for clients, things like that. So this is just all unopened backups. And then this is just a bin full of towels because I lay down a clean towel under my setup every time I do a client. And then that last bin you don't need to see because it's just random like scissors and Clorox wipes and random stuff that's not very cute. This is my travel makeup kit that I take for all of my on-site jobs and clients. I've had it for about three years now and I do love it. However, I'm not gonna recommend it to you because when I bought it, it had been recommended to me by a couple of people as like the best kit that you could get. So I paid quite a bit of money for it and I paid a ton of money to have it shipped internationally because it was from England or somewhere. And although it's served me well and it's been great, I've actually come across a case that is the same setup as this, but I'd say it is better quality and it's a better price and you can get it on Amazon. My friend and fellow makeup artist has that one and we've compared them and compared the details and we're like, yeah, her case is basically the same but better and a better price. So I'm gonna link that case for you below and that's the one that I'm gonna recommend that you buy if you're in the market for a case. Up here it has a place for brushes and then there's just kind of an open compartment in here and this is where I'll put palettes, makeup wipes, additional brushes, things like that. And then there's all these drawers and the great thing about it is you can take the drawers out, you can remove them, they're easy to clean, and then you can just set them on your table where you're setting up. And it is a rolling case too, so that's really nice. I have some seating right here for if my client brings people with her to her appointment. 
and this right here is my logo that my really talented sister-in-law designed for me. I love this chair that I found for my clients. I think it's super duper cute and it's nice and tall. I got it off of House, and I'll link it below. This white table is from Ikea and it's where I set up when I have clients. It works great. This is also where I get myself ready every morning. I used to have my personal makeup in my bathroom and then this room was just for clients and for when I filmed YouTube videos, but it was really annoying to haul my personal makeup back and forth every time I filmed. So I decided that this is just my makeup room. This is where all things makeup happen. So this right here is all my personal makeup. These are my brushes. And I know this is maybe a little excessive to have this whole thing full of my personal makeup, but this top drawer has my foundations, concealers, primers, and setting spray. This drawer has all of my lip products, eye products like mascara and liners, compacts, so blush, highlight, bronzer. And then this bottom drawer has my palettes and lashes. These are just all of my client brushes. This ring light I got on Amazon and I'll link below. I got the smaller size and sometimes I wish I would have gotten the bigger size. I don't know, but it works and I use it all the time and it's great. This mirror hanging on the door is where I have my clients look to see their makeup, see the big reveal. For some reason, the way the lighting in this room hits this mirror, you can see the makeup really well and it's really well lit. And it's nice because then they can kind of take a step back, see it from far away, or they can step right up close to it and get a close look at the makeup. So this is my studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I had fun making this video and thank you to my husband for filming. If you have any other video requests, please leave them down below. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I love you guys so much. Bye. Hello, welcome to my studio. <laughs> What did you have in mind? Just walk in and be like, today is a studio. Tour. Just like act like it's normal to do this? Yeah.